Steve from Malaysia. My question to you is, what is your view on the democracy in Malaysia with the recent jailing of Anwar Ibrahim, the opposition leader, and the crackdown on the opposition? Thank you. Well, you know, Malaysia uh, has uh, a history of democracy that has to be preserved. And, you know, I have a very good relationship with uh, Prime Minister Najib, and we are close partners and cooperating on a whole host of issues. I think that Malaysia, like all our countries, not just ASEAN countries, but countries here in the United States, have to recognize that democracy is not just elections, but it's how open and transparent and accountable government is between elections. And it's important that free speech, freedom of the press, uh, an independent judiciary, uh, the right to assemble peacefully, that all those rights are observed to make democracy work. Um, so I, I, as a general rule, I don't comment on uh, even individual cases in this country, much less some, another country, because I think it's important for the legal system to work. But I do know that uh, it is important if an opposition leader who's well known has been charged with a crime, that that process of how that is adjudicated and how open it is and how clear the evidence is, that that is all subject to scrutiny. Uh, because what you don't want is a situation in which the legitimacy of the process is questioned. That has an adverse impact on democracy as a whole. And I think we all have to guard against making sure that there's not a chilling effect on potential opposition in government. So, you know, uh, as I always point out, democracy is hard. I mean, I, I think that uh, many of the things that are said about me are terribly unfair. <laughs> but the reason American democracy has survived for so long is because people, even if they're wrong, have a right to say what they think. You know, George Washington, our first president, he complained terribly about some of the foolishness that was said about him. But part of the reason he's, he's considered one of our greatest presidents is because he set an example of uh, recognizing that if democracy was to work, then you had to uh, respect the rights of even those people who you disagreed most with. Because otherwise, there's no way that uh, a democracy can flourish over the long term. So uh, these are things that I've said publicly when I was in Myanmar, I had, or, or when I was in Malaysia, rather. Uh, I had an opportunity to meet with some, uh, uh, you know, uh, community activists and, and, and civil uh, society leaders there. And this is something that I say everywhere uh, we go. And it's important for America to recognize that we're not perfect either. And so we have to make sure that we are constantly seeing how do we improve our democracy. I mean, the, the amounts of money, for example, that are involved in our elections these days uh, is disturbing because it makes it seem as if a few people have more influence in the democracy than the many. Um, and, and so uh, I, I will com continue to speak out about these issues, even with friends. Maybe sometimes we are even more uh, willing to say something when it's friends because we know that uh, they can do better. <laughs>